and Dr. Mohammad Rafi, Associate Professor, Department of Cyber Security at Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. Today, I want to discuss about the network programming and uh, management subject, in which the topic is IPv4, IPv6 support in DNS. Here, IPv6, IPv6 is a extension of the IPv4. How it is the supporting in a DNS? DNS, so it is a, stands for the domain name server. Here is how it is uh, the supporting. If you take DNS, domain name server, now what is the importance of the this domain name or the server? This the domain name server mainly which is getting the IP address of the remote end point in a necessary for every communication between TCP IP applications. That means whatever the TCP IP applications now we are using, that means uh, client communication or mobile to the host other communication or mo mobile to mobile other communication for every communication every communication mainly these uh, ipv6 can be connected to the dns uh, server the host uh, the host whatever the host now we are uh, the considering this host uh, direct now which is uh, the connected to the dns server DNS or the server now which is uh, sending the, uh, the request uh, to the DNS server and here is with this with the help of with the, with the, with the help of this uh, the DNS servers now the IP address can be uh, requested that is 192.200.0.1 now which is requesting the IP address to DNS and uh, responded to the IP address that means here IPv4 now which is addressing addressing to the DNS domain name of the server with help of this uh, uh, addressing now we can identify the device what for what device now we are going to uh, sending the other uh, message how for which other devices are communicating generally the humans are unable to memorize the the millions of the IP addresses so in a market especially IPv6 address so it is a IPv6 address it is an enhancement of the IPv4 the address version 6 internet the protocol version 6 mainly this IP internet the proto protocol can be utilized for identifying and uh, connecting the device Connecting the particular other device and establish the, the communication to tar to target the larger extensions. These uh, domain name uh, systems, these domain name other systems, so DNS means uh, domain name systems. These are the domain name other system uh, which are providing the, the applications. So it may be the server or main server or sub server so these are the system which is maybe the acting so these are the domain name or the system which is the provides the applications with the several type of the resources that means uh, name of the domain server domain name server and uh, mail exchanger and uh, reverse other lookup here is they need hierarchical presentation and uh, the distribution and uh, redundancy these uh, can be uh, presented uh, in a dns here the extension uh, dns uh, extension for the internet protocol version 6 uh, now if you see forward lookup is now the domain name server ipv6 ipv6 address this address can be Whenever we are other connecting the other device, host device to DNS, so these IP address can be assigned to the domain name of the server. Here is a host. This host now, whenever it is requesting, 
immediately now requesting to the uh, dns domain name uh, server domain name server now which is uh, the requesting the ip address which is requesting ip address through the dns domain through the domain name server through this uh, uh, dns now the host which is activating this host is uh, requesting the ip address that means here the ip address is assigned in dns whatever the ip address is the requested this the ip address can be assigned can be address can be assigned to the dns here is the level if you see for example example.com example other dot com if you see example example dot com example dot com here now it is a example for the ip v6 now in which here so this is a for example ns3 dot nic dot fir dot in here in this addressing in this ip addressing here this one is a level 1 which indicates the level 1 dot in which indicates the level 1 dot fr and dot in which is indicates the level 2 in ip address and nic dot fr dot in which indicates the level 3 and ns3 dot nic dot fr dot in which indicates the level 4 that is a quad records now which is a quad record Four yes, what are the records now? The address now you can specify it as a uh, 192.134.0.48. That means this host assigning the address to the DNS, assigning the IP address 192.192.134.0.48. This address. Internet address. This is the internet the protocol IP address. Now it will be assigned to the DNS domain name server. Here it will be acting as this is the system by when you can say it as a the server, whenever these are the system DNS uh, which is acting as a uh, as a server now. So then we can assign, we can assign this address to the domain name of the server now, which is identified which is identified and it will be acting as a which is acting as a domain name of server here is now always uh, this is the system server system ipv6 now which is the support in a domain name of the system now is a is a very uh, important uh, uh, for the uh, the proper uh, the functioning of the ipv6 internet as uh, a protocol version uh, 6 uh, addresses uh, on the internet generally these ipv6 address records ipv6 addresses which are uh, the supported in a dns domain name system through the use of the use of the these quad a record by using of the quad a records quad a records these records are the IPv6, which are equivalent of the quad records. So, generally, this can be used for IPv4 addresses. So, these quad records, these with, the, with help of these, the address now we can identify the, the device. Quad record uh, addresses now IPv4 other uh, device with address, IPv4 address and IPv6 address now, particular other uh, device can be identified. So, these uh, records generally is quad record now if you see these records now which is mapping the domain name domain name to its the corresponding ip v6 address the generally in ip v6 the supporting in a domain name on the system generally the key components uh, uh, we can uh, consider as a quad record first is a quad record so this is a quad record so this is the quad record is a it is a one type of the record that is a domain name one domain name system record at server side or uh, so it is a considered as a system or the record and it can be used to map a domain name 
to an IPv6 addresses. Here is uh, the example how quad records uh, should be look like means uh, this is a quad record example dot com dot uh, 360 in quad record 2001 dot 0 db8 and this is uh, looking like the quad records can be uh, the represented uh, like this in this uh, the format can be represent the quad record here is now let us discuss about what is a example.com example.com means uh, it is a this is a domain name domain name so that means uh, the domain generally these are uh, the domain uh, the do, the uh, this domain name the trialing the dot signifies the root of the dns uh, hierarchy here now you can say it has example.com so this is a domain name that means number of other domains yahoo.com google yahoo.com or jntu.ac.in number of other domains so like this now so these are the domain name that means uh, training the uh, the dot uh, signifies the root of the uh, dns uh, hierarchy domain name or uh, the si domain name of uh, the system hierarchy this dot uh, which signifies so in in which 3600 three, uh, this is the time to live this is the value of the time to live now which is specifying how long the record other can be the catched by the domain name of the system which is resolved which is a resolved in one hour that means here 3600 seconds that is a one hour in uh, that means uh, this is stands for internet in stands for internet which is specifying the the clause of the domain name of system so that means here system of other records number of other records can be uh, the signifies and uh, quad record four years means it is a quad uh, is one, one type of the quad record in the domain name system this uh, the specifies that the record is an ipv6 address and uh, remaining so this one this one here 2001 0db8 85a3 0000a8a2e 0370 7334 so this is an ip address which indicates the ip address generally it can be associated with the domain name here with help of this generally with help of this domain name only the, the these protocols internet uh, the protocols are uh, the working and uh, retrieving uh, the data and uh, effectively the establishing the uh, the uh, communication from the one device to another uh, the device reverse the dns uh, system for ip v6 uh, the protocol here generally or dns that is a reverse uh, the dns domain name system for ip v6 uh, which involves generally which is mapping an ip uh, v6 address back to the domain name that means here backing ip v6 can be reverse reversing the addressing so by reversing the addressing now we will get back to the domain name that means uh, the the, oppo the opposite of the what is done in the domain name for the system lookup that is opposite to the domain name system that is a reverse of the reverse dns means opposite to dns this is useful for the various networking services and uh, verification of the purposes steps generally now we can include the steps to set up the reverse dns uh, for ip v6 and ip v4 generally we can uh, consider the steps are first uh, first we have to convert the ipv6 address to a reverse point uh, that means uh, ptr first we have to convert the ipv6 address to a reverse point here the ptr that means ipv6 address need to be the, uh, the converted into the 
particular and uh, suitable uh, the format uh, for uh, reversing the D DNS lookups. Generally, this can be involved expanding the address uh, the fully. Whatever the address now yeah, that is specified, you now in reversing also, which is uh, the expanding that uh, uh, the address in reverse order. Reversing the address of the uh, the characters, whatever the characters we have specified in the address, just now we have to reversing the address and uh, the appending dot ip6 dot erpa dot ip6 under dot erpa. Here is for example for the ipv6 address two two double zero one zero d b eight eighty five o a three Zero zero eight a two e zero three seven zero seven three three other four. So this is a IP address, IPv six address. Example for the IPv six address. So levels, number of other level based now we can other represent. So once these the fully expanded, this address is now here. It is a fully expanded. So reversing of the DNS. Now it is IP address. This IPv six address can be generally this IPv six address can be assigned to the uh, dns dns uh, that can be assigned to the dns now if you reverse if you reverse these other uh, dns now we can we have to follow the that means we have to follow some other steps which are first uh, we have to remove the colons in this whatever the colons now we have specified in ip v6 uh, so these are the columns. Uh, now we have to remove these other columns. If we remove the columns and reverse the order of the characters, just we have to reverse the order of the character. Now if we get the reverse uh, or DNS uh, address, now we can get the or DNS address. Just uh, reverse the order of the other uh, characters. Here is the uh, the last two character, last level of the character. Now if we see seven three three four. If we reverse this uh, order, now we'll get it as a first. Uh, the digit uh, the four now we can get the first dot separated each and every character is separated with the dot four dot three dot three dot seven dot zero dot like this now number of other characters so that can be the appended ip ip six dot or pop and so this is a we can we can write it as the dot ip six dot other or pop so this is a reverse of the dns and the next uh, the key component is a operational uh, considerations. Generally, do you, in a, in IP addressing IP IPv6 uh, addressing in a uh, the DNS. Uh, generally, we can consider the dual stack uh, configurations. Here is the dual stack configuration. How we can perform the dual stack configuration? Means here now one system. It is a host A system can be uh, considered. And so this is a DNS uh, the system. DNS uh, the system. Now we can consider the DNS uh, the system. Now this host here, what it is doing now, which is a uh, requesting addressing, addressing the domain name of uh, the system. That is the address is the IP address now, which is having the IP address uh, that is one ninety two dot one uh, thirty four dot zero dot one. So these IB addressing now, which is here, here also now, which is the requesting 192.134.0. Now, which is uh, requesting to the domain name server. Now, this uh, the domain name server, what it is doing means uh, whatever the request is received from the host A, now which is assigned the IP address to host A. Once uh, if, once the IP address is assigned to the host A, now which is uh, working uh, over the internet once if it is working over the internet uh, that means uh, the uh, data can be uh, the retrieved and communication can be uh, established here is now we are generally we are using the ip ip v4 ip v4 uh, protocol just just uh, the assignment uh, simple uh, the address assignment now from dns to the post particular host generally we can use the ip v4 uh, address now we can use in ipv6 uh, the extension of the ipv6 uh, instead of the uh, requesting the uh, from after requesting the uh, the dns now here 
direct now the remote here now it is, which is uh, requesting to the direct to the this host is requesting to the uh, direct uh, to remote host here it is a remote to host now remote remote host direct now which is uh, requesting to the remote host in between this now we can arrange the switches here switches can be arranged and uh, routers 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 can be arranged so through this uh, through this uh, the routers through this uh, the routers now it can be interconnected to the remote or the server so once uh, the remote or the server here whenever it is requested to the remote server this is the remote with the help of this is the remote server now uh, responded responded to the host and assigned to the host to the uh, particular with particular ip address here is now direct via if you requesting the if you requesting the ip address to the dns ip address to the, uh, the dns using the switches and uh, routers using the switches and uh, the routers uh, here in this in this uh, situation now we can use the ipv6 ipv6 uh, address in dns by using the ipv6 address in dns direct now if you if you are if you are if you are requested ipv6 address uh, uh, to the remote uh, the remote host or remote other server direct now we can't request it we can't other uh, request it first uh, the request is going the request is going to the dns from that other uh, dns it will be responded and uh, from that uh, from this uh, response from this uh, the assignment of this uh, the address now which is uh, moving to the uh, switches and uh, the routers switches and routers uh, and then go to the uh, remote host that ipv6 address can be assigned here this is a dual other configurations can be uh, can be uh, considered for operationals for performing the the operations most of the domain name servers now and servers and clients will operate in a dual stock mode any dns any dns server domain name uh, system servers any domain name servers generally uh, uh, servers and clients whatever it may be it will be operates in a dual mode only which is supporting once if it is uh, operating dual mode which is supporting both ipv4 and ipv6 here now you can see so it here here now which is supporting the ipv4 here ipv4 the operation is ipv4 operation is ipv4 here this host this host to a host a a so which is a uh, requested the ip address this dns domain name other system which is assigned the this whatever the request is uh, uh, received from the host a which is assigned to the uh, that ip address to the host a that is ipv4 and uh, direct now which is uh, instead of this uh, instead of this uh, here direct which is uh, requesting to the remote other server now it is a ipv6 that means uh, ipv6 it is a ipv6 that's why here which is support dual stack configuration which is the support of both the ipv6 and ipv4 simultaneously so that's why you know this which ensures backward other compatibility and smooth other transitions from the ipv4 and ipv6 and ipv6 compatibility dns software this IP, IPv6 compatibility DNS software which ensures that domain name server these are the software which support IPv6 why because nowadays nowadays and many number of the uh, domain name system softwares like uh, bind uh, unbound uh, power DNS so these are the softwares uh, as uh, generally which is uh, supporting the ipv ipv6 internet protocol version uh, version 6 now which is supporting uh, for this uh, protocol so why because the, this the protocol is addressing uh, addressing direct addressing to the dns in dns here security as a considerations the security as a considerations uh, 
here is the security mechanisms now such as the DN, dns security dns sec must be configured for supporting the ipv6 protocol so why because now which is ensuring the authenticity and integrity of the domain name servers which is responses for the ipv6 addresses and next uh, the application now if you see these uh, ipv6 uh, the support uh, in dns now which is utilized in a monitoring and uh, troubleshooting if any system monitoring in administration or if any other troubleshooting so in this now we can utilize the uh, these uh, domain name or these ipv6 ipv6 addressing that means these are the support IPv6 is the support can be utilized in a DNS with help of this IPv6 is the support now domain name server which is assigns the, uh, the uh, address particular uh, the address generally this one here network uh, the administrator which is need tools which needs the tools uh, that uh, support IPv6 uh, for monitoring the DNS queries which is monitors the DNS uh, the queries domain name system Queries number of queries can be uh, the monitored. How the queries are, uh, how how the queries are uh, the coming, which type of the queries are coming uh, for that one here, and uh, the troubleshooting issues. What are the troubleshooting issues while while uh, while sending the message from uh, one device to the uh, that means uh, server to the client or color client to the server. Uh, if troubleshooting uh, the issues is has is happened, uh, how it is uh, how it is the happen? Now it is monitoring everything. Every operation, every operation, every uh, everything in a uh, the system now which will be uh, the monitor. That means here this includes the checking for the IPv6 uh, reachability. Now and uh, ensuring the uh, the proper uh, the propagation of the quad records, the propagation of the quad uh, the records uh, here that should be the monitored and uh, the trouble of uh, the shooting. Benefits now, if you see the, uh, the benefits of the IPv6 in a DNS, uh, the first of the benefit you now it is a larger address space. Now, if you see comparing with uh, uh, another here now, IPv6 has the in DNS domain name other uh, system which has the larger, especially in domain name other uh, uh, servers, domain name uh, system servers now which provide the larger address spaces. With this larger address spaces now, uh, the multiple uh, the IP address, number of IP addresses, uh, number of host addresses can be uh, responded. Here, this IP, IPv6 now which provides the much larger address space. That's it. And, uh, and uh, elevating the limitations and that, uh, that all these uh, other limitations uh, that, can, that can be, uh, whatever the issues will be arised in IPv6, uh, all these are the issues. It is associated with the IPv4. Why? Because the IPv6 is an enhancement of the IPv4. Improved efficiency and performance. How can you improve the efficiency and uh, the performance? So, with help of these in a, uh, the communicating devices, the efficiency, the performance can be improved by using the IPv6 uh, protocol. Here, which allows the more efficient routings from one device to the another device here. The routing now, which allows the more efficient routing and uh, better uh, the devices can be identified. Well, uh, the executable devices or better devices can be uh, identified. And based on these, the efficient uh, the routing, the packet delivery process can be done. So, packets uh, can be uh, delivered effectively. Now we can uh, deliver the, the packets uh, from uh, the uh, system, from system to the uh, remote uh, system here, remote system with help of the, with help of the switches, with help of the switches and uh, routers, and uh, with help of the switches and routers, uh, now the packets uh, can be delivered to the host uh, A to host B, uh, simply you can say it as a server to client. It is a server domain name system, a server to the client. Server to the, uh, the client now. We can we can deliver the packets from server to the other uh, client via the switches and routers. That's why which is allowing IP IPv6, which is allowing more efficient routing. 
optimal routing generally more efficient routing means optimal better routing will be considered consider for sending the packets now here it is it is sending the other packets number of uh, number of uh, other packets now we are sending the number of other packets for sending the packet, efficient better route can be identified and uh, the packet other processing packet processing can be done so which can improve the overall uh, network uh, the performance so this ipv6 uh, this ipv6 uh, now which improve the network other uh, performance can be improved comparing with the ipv4 and uh, enhanced uh, security enhanced uh, security means here ipv6 uh, now which is uh, which includes the built in support for the internet protocol securities which can secure the traffic dns domain name or the system traffic uh, more effectively while while sending the uh, address effective address uh, from dns to the what whatever the host is required required so while uh, sending while transmitting now the traffic uh, dns the traffic can be uh, secure more uh, the security can be provided and which is simplified the network other uh, configurations whatever the uh, other configurations now we are uh, considering all these uh, the network other uh, configurations can be uh, simplified in a better way the features like the best example satellite address auto configurations automatically the configurations can be done which is simplifying the management of the ip addresses in a networking and transition strategies incremental deployments here is start by the, uh, the enabling ip v6 on internal networks and dns the servers mainly which followed by the public facing services that is training and education ensures network staff are uh, trained on ipv6 concepts so on this ipv6 internet protocol version 6 of the concept so the training and education is uh, required so this is a uh, con configurations how to uh, configure ipv6 and ip other before and troubleshootings if any issues are as arise how how can you perform the trouble uh, the shooting testing and validations thoroughly test all the aspect of the ipv6 the dns configurations domain name system configuration that, that means domain name uh, uh, system that system is a server system or client system in a controlled environment uh, before the deployment here is ipv6 now which is uh, the support in a dns so it is essential for the accommodating the growing uh, the number of uh, internal other uh, connected devices by providing a much larger uh, the address space uh, comparing with the ipv4 here implementing the quad records reverse dns for ipv6 that means here which which ensures that uh, seamless at uh, the domain name reservations and the network or diagnostics if is there any issues are raised in a networks so that can be the uh, implemented by by using the, the quad records and reversing dns now we easily we can uh, implement uh, the reservations and diagnostics now we will perform the diagnostics of the network which is supporting the dual stock other configurations dual dual stock other configurations generally we can implement the ipv4 and ipv6 uh, mechanism communicating identifying device and communicating the mechanism can be implemented in a Uh, supporting dual stack uh, the configurations overall ipv6 uh, domain name server which is support is a, a very a very crucial for future proofing other uh, networks infrastructures and uh, the maintaining the reliable secure uh, connectivity in a networking here so these are all the textbooks so unix network programming network management and the principles and other practices and internet working with a tcp ip this is a reference uh, the books uh, william stallings uh, snmp snmp uh, v2 version version 2 version 3 uh, rmon and 1 and 2 so uh, wisley wisley third edition so these are all the other reference book and uh, web remaining are the so these are the web references so this is about the ip v6 as uh, the support in a dns that means here the dns which is the supporting ipv6 is supported in a dns when it is supporting in a dns uh, whenever whenever here 
whenever uh, whenever these other uh, host is uh, the requesting to the uh, the dns uh, now which is uh, the supported that means uh, that's why ipv6 which is support in the dns it is a very essential for accommodating the growing number of internet connected devices by providing much larger address space than the ip v4 this is about the ip v6 support in a dns like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates